Okay, kindergartners, so now that we have the symmetrical mittens made, we have to put them somewhere or else they would just be floating around. So we're gonna give them a background and a background for this project is just going to be a colored piece of paper and then we'll add something to it here in a little bit. But you're gonna choose a colored piece of paper that you like or that you think looks good with your mittens. I like the color pink and I have some pink on my mittens, so I'm choosing the color pink today. Now, once you get your paper, the first thing you should do is make sure you put your name and class code on it. I'm gonna do that down here, and you should too on the bottom right corner. Make sure you have your name on there with a pencil. Okay, and I don't have a class code, so I'm just writing Mrs. Alberts, okay? But make sure you have your class code on there. Now, what we're gonna be doing is attaching our mittens to our background using some liquid glue today, some glue bottles, okay? Now, first thing you wanna do is put your mittens on your paper, kinda how I have mine right now. They both need to be able to fit on your paper, so it's important that you make sure they both can fit. You don't wanna put your first mitten on like that because then do you have room for your other one? Nope, you wanna make sure they both fit. So I have my mittens sitting on here, how I'm going to glue them on. My thumbs are facing each other. So now it's time to glue. So I'm gonna open up my glue bottle, flip over my first mitten and let's get it glued on. So I'm gonna go dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot, not a lot, dot, dot, not a lot, the whole way around. Okay, there's my glue dots. Now I'm gonna flip this over, put it back where it was, and I'm going to use both hands. I'm gonna press down for five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. And I think that is pretty stuck on there. So let's do the next one again, flipping it over. Dot, dot, not a lot. Your glue dots should be about as small as these ones. If you have too big of glue dots, then when you press your mitten down, you might end up having glue that squeezes out and gets all over your picture. Flipping it over. And again, I'm gonna take my hands and press for one, two, three, four, five. Now, if you really wanna be sure it's stuck, we can always do a shake test and we're good to go. Now, for the next step, we're gonna do something a little bit fun and you are going to be getting some cotton balls, okay? The cotton balls are going to go on the bottom of your mittens to make it look like it has a little bit of a cuff around the mitten. And you're going to have six cotton balls. So if you have six cotton balls and your mittens are supposed to have symmetry, how many cotton balls do you think go on each mitten? If you said the number three, you are correct. Okay, so we're gonna do three. If you have smaller hands, which a lot of you are going to have much smaller hands than me, you may only need two cotton balls on each mitten, okay? You might not need three. So if three doesn't fit, just do two, okay? Here's how we're gonna stick them on. Normally, like I say, we do dot, dot, not a lot for these cotton balls. I want you to use a little bit more glue. Don't go too crazy, but it should be more than a tiny dot or else the cotton balls are gonna just fall off, okay? So we're gonna start in the middle of each mitten. So down here under the mitten, I'm gonna make a blob of glue in the middle. Okay, so your blob of glue should be about that big. And taking that first cotton ball, I'm gonna press it down. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not gonna go crazy here. I'm just gonna do a little shake test, make sure it's stuck. Now I want these to have symmetry, same thing on the other side. Glob of glue in the middle. Got my cotton ball. One, two, three, four, five. Little shake test, and it's good. 
if you go crazy and you shake it a lot, your cotton balls are gonna fall off no matter if they're stuck or not. <laughs> so you don't need to shake it very hard. Now I'm gonna do two at once on each side this time just to save us some time. So we'll do a glob of glue there, a glob of glue there, and let's stick these on. One on each side. One, two, three, four, five. Little shake test, good to go. Let's do it again. One here. Oop, my glue went crazy there. And one there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now if you ever get glue somewhere that you don't want, like how that just happened to me, there's two things you could do. The first one is you could just leave it there because glue is going to dry clear so you won't see it anyway. Or you could use a finger to wipe it up. And then if you take it in your fingers, some of you know this trick already, and you rub it in your hands, it'll disappear like magic, okay? So you can do that. You don't need to grab a tissue or a paper towel or something to wipe it. If you rub it in your fingers, it'll just go away on its own. Now, there is one more step to this project, okay? Our background is a little bit boring like this, so we are going to be adding a little bit of glitter, okay? Now, we need to do something, though, to get the glitter to stick. And so we're going to be using that glue again, and your teacher is going to help you get the glue, or I'm sorry, get the glitter on, but you're responsible for getting your own glue on, okay? So she's probably going to have a little glitter station set up where you can get your glitter on your paper. But I'm gonna show you all of it in this video, okay? So for your background, we are going to be making some dots. So using my glue, I'm gonna draw a circle and maybe one here and maybe one here. I'm just gonna add them wherever I think a little bit of glitter would look nice. So we're making some dots. Okay, now everywhere that I have my glue right now, that is where the glitter is going to stick to. So I'm not gonna go too crazy because if I do, and I have a lot of glitter on my background, that's going to take away from all the hard work I did on my mittens. So you don't need too much glue, but you want to have probably at least like five glue dots. I think I have more than that. I think I have 10. You know, 10 is probably the most you need, okay? You don't need more than 10. Now, really quick, I'm done with my glue now, so I'm going to close it, wipe it. Got to make sure you always wipe off your glue or else glue will get stuck up here for the next person, and that's no fun if you're that person that ends up with the clogged glue. Let's put our hands together and that glue is going to disappear. Okay, now I'm gonna add a messy mat really quick so I can show you what that glitter is going to look like. Okay, now again, your teacher's gonna help you with this. So you're not doing your own glitter, but I'm going to do mine on my messy mat so that you can see what it's going to look like, okay? So again, anywhere that I put that glue is where that glitter is going to stick. And let's see what it looks like. And there it is. Wow, that looks awesome, okay? So I hope you have an awesome time doing this project. I'm excited to see what it looks like.